morning. It's gonna be a busy day today. Got this machine running calendars already. Uh, it's gonna run them out, um, not collated. And then we'll stitch them over on the collator. I have the 1200 ready to roll on uh, a black and white book. And I have one color sheet uh, that's going to get inserted here. So it'll automatically ins insert the color sheets into the book as it prints. And then it has a slip sheet. So right now that color sheet is printing out here on the 6500. So... All we got to do is line this up, 96, 97, 98, that was the top side of my sample sheet. Now it's going to print all the black and white and I told the printer, I forget what page it was, to pull one sheet from here, which is my color insert. Uh, so that, that makes uh, it a little bit cheaper to run because a black and white click on this machine is half the price of a black and white click on this machine. So that's why I do that. Page 97, where it's 64. I always just like to make sure that I have it set up right. Even though it was saved from before, I would hate to run 200 books incorrectly. Okay, it just pulled it in up there. Perfect. And the toner bottle can be exchanged, so I'll do that. Might as well. Folding stuff. Be busy morning. Got 200 more sheets till that calendar's finished. You saw the laminator just got started. I want to bring in some paper to cut down, uh, and and I have a bunch of spiral-bound books and postcards to do for another customer. So, um, yeah, a lot going on today.
going through it today, got to add yellow toner. That's why it's nice to have like, I'd say, two of every color on hand. Because you get a busy day like this, and you'll be swapping out four of them, and then you only have, you know, you have one extra of each. So here's a good example of before and after calibration. Uh, I printed this out and you can see how it's almost a pink hue in the highlight there. And I was like, well, that's wrong. So I calibrate it and then that goes away. So typically your calibrations don't really change your, your dense coverage a whole lot. It's typically the highlights where your calibrations will make it your prints look a lot nicer. What I say, we replaced black and yellow this morning. Magenta and cyan are on their way out. They'll probably get replaced today too. So there are more efficient and less efficient ways of cutting things down. Like here we have four up. And anytime you want to minimize the number of cuts, Therefore, you get done sooner, and it's more cost-effective then. Uh, some no-nos would be to cut opposing, uh, because then you're going to cut your crop marks off. Uh, so if you start making a cut here, you need to work away to the other side. So other time-saving strategies is stacking whatever you're cutting. And I put the, uh, the jogger there at the end just to keep it from spraying all that paper. When you're cutting cover stock in a small piece, it has a tendency to spray the paper up at you. Okay, real quick while those spiral bound books are printing, I just have 70 soft cover books. We'll bind quick and ship those out. So setting this up, there are basically two numbers that we need to enter to get the cover to get on there right. Uh, there are many, many other adjustments as far as upward pressure, side pressure, the amount of time for both of those, milling depth, the amount of glue, side glue. Uh, there's actually tons of them. Typically I don't mess with those on a standard job, but I already measured the complete length of the cover, 13 and a quarter, and the distance from the edge of the spine to the front there is six and a half. What I typically do is, even different books, I just make the, those numbers all the same, so then I don't have to make any adjustments here, and I can just keep dropping books in. Okay, those are all done. I sent one through without glue, so you can see what the uh, the milling process does there, and it creates creates notches through the spine of the book, and that allows the adhesive to soak up in there, uh, create a stronger bind. Uh, so there's knives in there that notch, and uh, for a thicker book. Uh, we slow the book carriage down and it'll create twice as many notches through there uh, and therefore hold, a, hold the uh, thicker book together better. Real quick job, 100 calendars, saddle stitch, start to finish.
there it is, start to finish. 100 calendars, collated, stitched, folded, trimmed, and drill a hole. It's like Christmas. So sometimes it takes a week to two weeks for toner to show up. I forgot that I already ordered toner. And I just placed another order today. Uh, so, we aren't going to run out. If you didn't notice already, to a printer, transparencies are your enemy. They can cause all kinds of problems. Here's a good example of a transparency not coming through correctly. So there's a gradient here, and it should... Uh, go from dark to light but you can see a distinct line here so that the flattener of the rip didn't work correctly but it should look like this and on a, a fiery rip what you have to do is uh, you need to change your settings and color to optimize RGB transparency and you need to make that setting before you send your file through the rip so that that setting gets applied to that file but uh, yeah depending on the software that the designer uses to create something transparencies are always something you have to look out for to make sure you have the best product uh, for your customer Okay, coming to you from inside the three knife trimmer. Uh, the clip you just saw was a pneumatic cylinder clanking around uh, during the trimming process of the book. Uh, that cylinder brings a hold down, down and holds the book before the two side knives come down. And uh, we're in here to try and figure out what sort of clip or bolt or fastener uh, is not working so we can get that fixed. It seems to work, but we need to get that fixed before we keep going. But this nut right here was loose, so I tightened it up. And it'll hold in there, but it still didn't get all the way tight. But I'm sure that will be better. I'll have to try and get a wrench on that. Okay, so I cycled the knife on the back here and then opened the door to get it to stop in position so the rear knife is down and you can see in there now to get to that nut tightening. Sometimes it pays off to be skinny. All right, and this is afterward. That cylinder is nice and solid now. That's a tight squeeze. Well, thanks for watching. Another day in paradise here in the print shop. This is gonna keep on printing books after I leave. And I got one, two, and these small books all need to be spiral bound tomorrow. So I have the covers and then the guts of them there. Um, I didn't bore you in cutting that down. And I cut down some other short grain paper because I'm fixing to print 
uh, 200 of those books, which is like 10,000 sheets. So, again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, uh, comment below, let me know what's up, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.